guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show with you guys how to make super easy and delicious green chile using a crock pot. So in case you guys want to learn how to make this delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need six Anaheim peppers, three jalapeno peppers, six tomatillos, one bunch of cilantro, five garlic cloves, one small white onion, two bay leaves, half a tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of thyme, half a tablespoon of oregano, salt, black pepper, and three pounds of pork shoulder. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right, so first we're going to start by cutting our meat. All right, so depending on how you're gonna serve your green chili, depends on how big the chunks of meat you're gonna cut. Um, I, I like to shred mine, so I like to cut them like big chunks. But if you want to cut them into bite sizes, then that's just going to be optional in the way you want to serve it. So I'm going to cut them into big chunks, about two inches big. And I'm not going to cut the fat or anything. like that. All right, so now that we have our meat cut, we're going to season it with salt and pepper. And you wanna get all sides of the meat. Okay, so now that we have our meat um, seasoned, we're going to prepare a skillet so we can stir our meat. So I'm going to set my skillet on high heat and I'm gonna wait for that to heat up so we can add four tablespoons of vegetable oil. So I'm going to add my vegetable oil and just wait for that to get hot enough so we can add our meat. So once it's hot enough, we're going to place our meat and we're going to stir it for three minutes each side. about three minutes. Do not move it around. We're just allowing all of our flavors to lock into our meat. Um, so once the three minutes are up, we're going to flip it over and do the same step until all of our meat is golden brown. All right, so once all of our meats are golden brown and on all sides and you no longer see pink, we're going to place our meat on our crock pot. All right, so once our meat is all seared, we're going to place it on our crock pot and start working on our sauce. All right, so in our comal, we're going to roast our tomatillos, our jalapenos, anaheim peppers, the onion, and our garlic cloves. You also wanna keep an eye on your tomatillos. As soon as you start seeing them turn yellow, make sure you turn them around and um, allow for the rest of the tomatillo to cook. You do not want to overcook your tomatillos, otherwise you're gonna have a bitter sauce. So now we're going to place all my peppers inside the bag so that all the steam can uh, finish cooking our peppers and like that it will be easy to peel them and deseat them. And once we have all, all of our peppers in the bag, we're going to let them sit there for about 15 minutes and then we can start working on our sauce. 
Now we're just gonna wait 15 minutes and then peel them, deseat them, and place them in our blender. All right, so once our chilies are done, we're going to start peeling them. It should be very easy to peel. And then you're also going to add them and uh, open them and take out the seeds. So just open them, take out the seeds, and if you you can leave the seeds in, um, it's just gonna be a little spicy. And once your chili is done, just place it in your blender. Okay, so now we're going to add the cilantro. Our cumin, thyme, and oregano. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. And now we're just going to blend everything until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so now that our sauce is done, we're going to place it on top of our meat. So I'm just going to Place it like that. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water in my blender just so I can get all of my sauce. Just move it around so we can have all of our meat covered with the sauce. So we're gonna cook it on high heat. Um, I'm going to add the two bay leaves and just close it and cook it for four hours. All right guys, so it's been four hours, so by now our green chili should be done. You guys ready? And let me tell you that it smells delicious. So it's ready to be served. And then you can shred it or you can just serve it as it is. As you can see. Let me show you the meat. It's very easy to pull apart. So. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part. The cake <laughs> So I made Giovanni a burrito because that's the only way that he eats it. So are yeah. you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, I have gotta get mine. No. And I like to serve it with rice and of course the tortilla. Huh? You have the same thing. You yours have rice already and the canita. Cheers. Cheers. to be uh, spicy at all just don't add the jalapenos but this is it mm. what happened mm. <laughs> super delicious <laughs> Mm. 
Too good, huh? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it. Super easy and delicious green chili using a crock pot. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. In the comments down below, let me know what other recipes you would like to see next. And also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Uh. Eres perfecta mujer. De la cabeza a los pies. Tú pasas de mi nivel Tú tienes el piquete De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami